I like the way your hat is fitting on your head right now, Willie. I like the way you're... Thank you. It's my newest hat. Is that my hat, Lauren? Why would this be your hat? You get that in Boston? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's cool. I just have never seen you wear it, and I feel like that I... I wore it in our Playdate post. It's like I'm the one that wears that hat. Oh, oh yeah. I'm... Also, I haven't seen mine in a while, so... <laughs> no, I um, got it when I was there. I got Big sent... Man. I got sent that photo of you um, in, was that Big Sur, multiple times because people said you looked like my ex-girlfriend, uh, the way you were smiling. Isn't that strange? That is funny. And she sent it to me as well and wait, said, wait, what your one? ex-girlfriend smiled like this? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, you, it was, <laughs> you only looked like her in that oh. one photo, but she sent it to me as well and said that she did a double take. Thinking it was her? Very briefly. That's funny. That's funny. But she said all of her friends sent it to her. So we just had a big Labor Day. No, I'm joking. We're not going to pretend like it's Lauren Labor Day. We're us. recording this in advance <laughs> because we're not going to be here on Labor Day. Because we're going to be going crazy. Because we're going to be going bonkers. BC is going to be beating Florida State. Yeah, Lauren, did you hear I'm a BC fan this year? He's a BC fan oh. now. My hat's on the way. He ordered a hat, too. I, I ordered hat. this hat. Well, I mean, I... We're going to make Venice Beach Bar, the Boston College uh, bar, yeah. similar to what Jameson's is to... Louisiana State. Really? Yeah. And we are off to a rough start because Florida State lost to Georgia Tech. So now that is a must win. Yeah, we have a must win on Sorry, Monday. in what sport? Football. Football. Oh. Are you around on Monday? You want to come? No, I will probably be driving back. Also, this is From such. Where? Uh, I'm going to Parker, Arizona. Right. You're driving? It's like five hours. Don't say that like that's a normal length to drive. What? Five hours is a long drive. That's I did no- that last weekend for two days. That's a well. normal length to it's drive. It's a road trip. Five hours. Five hours is the cusp. I agree. This this how you this how you know. No, this is I won't even hold this against you because I think this is valid, but like people who grew up on the East Coast, like that part of the East Coast, mm-hmm. it's like that is far. Because you could go to like my part. You could go to like New York. Been five hours, yeah, yeah, like, and like, it was a but, brutal but for that, most of America. Like Midwest. growing up in South Carolina or growing up in the Midwest, like five hours is the closest city. Chicago, well, I oh, that's Chicago good, to oh. Cleveland. Like Atlanta was five hours. I see what was, you're saying. Like, yeah, like so. This is just kind of building off what you said. There was no scenario where I you would have to drive five hours where it would be cheaper than like just flying to JFK. Yeah, exactly. you know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. like, um, you can drive for five hours and still be in Maine. From, which is crazy. Maine yeah. is like deceptively long. The top part of it would be yeah. crazy. You ever been to Presque Isle? I think, but I was either young or hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely young. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've, I've heard the name. I don't really know where that is, though. Just uh, what well, you get up, you get up into Presque Isle is nice, but you get up into some of those northern Maine towns and it is just, it's grim. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the drive to. Acadia is like you go through a lot of these towns that are like yeah kind of a some of them are kind of a bummer. There are some some of them are beautiful. Yeah, some of them uh, don't even have a name. It's like T dash whatever because <laughs> like they they were like one guy lives there. T dash yeah the one guy lives there. <laughs> so it'll be like T dash <laughs> one zero whatever and uh, T dash. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you have you ever seen Drill Bit Taylor? What? Have you ever seen Drill Bit Taylor? No, but I went to high school. Sounds with a guy familiar. Named... Did you actually? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is it's, this again? It's Owen Wilson, and he uh, is this homeless guy in California. He needs to make some buck. He, that was a weird way to phrase that. He needs to make some money. <laughs> he needs to make some money. And so he sees this ad uh, for these high school kids that need self defense from Josh Peck and another bully. Okay. Isn't that crazy? It's like yeah. when Josh Peck got hot. So he has like a beard. Got it. Lauren, pull up Josh Peck. Oh, she texted. Lauren, pull up. Wow. Pull up. We made it 30 <laughs> seconds into the episode without Lauren texting. <laughs> Josh Peck, drill bit Taylor. Like he looks good. Yeah. Oh, he does look good. He looks like good as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And, okay, uh, all right. <laughs> cool it. Wait, yeah. he kind of looks like Will here with the headband. Yeah, a little bit. <sighs> okay, I'll take that. And, uh, but basically, <laughs> and then go to the picture under it. That's drill bit and the three kids that he's like protecting. Okay. Where was this going? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Why <laughs> Why do you bring this up? I had a reason to tell I you. I have this. no idea. Something about the nameless T- towns. Oh, T Dash. So it's so, 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 <laughs> the fat kid in the middle is named Ryan, but he wants them all to call him T Dog. Okay. And he's like, he's like, uh, 
They're like, why would we call you T-Dog? And he goes, it sounds a lot better than our dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You want to hear about my nightmare? Please. I had a pee nightmare. Last night? Do, 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 pee nightmare. Yeah, last <laughs> night. Um, I went to trivia at June Chine. Um, hey, wait, can you explain this to me? In my head, that place is not big enough for trivia. That's what I was Which thinking. is what was so nice about it. It, was, it wasn't too packed. It, like, I got a seat at the bar with my buddy Mark, and it was like, it, yeah, it's big and it, it's not very big. If, if it, like, if word gets out, it's going to be a nightmare to do trivia there. But it was just like a nice intimate. Glad we're talking about it on our pod. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like 10 teams. It was like chill. Yeah. Um, are there tables that? Yeah, there are. Like, There's actually like a patio, a patio. in the way back. Uh, the person I was with last night was, kept, I told them that you were there. And they were like, yeah, I love the patio. And I was like, I've never. Yeah, there's like a yeah. back patio that I didn't know about. Anyway, it was. Uh, there's there's a knife, a nice, a, 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 um. <laughs> All right, so I don't. I got really distracted because I said back patio, and I was just thinking about I was with my buddy Jack Patio over the weekend, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why that just. Well, I keep thinking your hat says empanadas. <laughs> I don't know why. I wish the E is just so Boston cool. College empanadas would be crazy. The E is just so prominent. It's not even like. A, it's not even like is a, this a cool hat though? It's a yeah. very cool hat. I I know I'm like I like only wear corduroy hats now, but I was pretty cool. I, I was pretty. <laughs> Something's going on. This something in the water. Yeah, it's dreary out. Okay, uh, P nightmare. P nightmare. So I'm at June John trivia, which did not do very well, admittedly. But we are really? a two man team. It's 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 hard. You need like, a f- you need like a four to five man team. We are two like it was two like guys who were very good at trivia too, and it still does like it's all about numbers, kind of. It's not about whether you're like you know what I mean. I find that hard to believe. No, it's just like volume, like because it's gonna end up. Every question kind of is like you need more opinions and people random. to be like, wait, yeah, this. Like you just need oh, like, okay. I'm saying like two really smart guys. Like there's still gonna be gaps in your knowledge. Yeah. Like, so how many? Here's a question for you. And like, I don't know shit about movies. How many dumb people, like, oh. b- like dumb people put together beat you and another smart guy? I think like a hundred. No. no, no, I'm talking like dumb. I don't know. I mean, that's so. It's hard to. Like, I don't think. Like, I don't think a lot of trivia is actually even necessarily like intelligence either. Some parts of it, is. or it's maybe it's just. It. But like, it's just like whether you know it or you don't. So, yeah, that's intelligence, that. right? Yeah, but like, yeah, fair enough. I mean, like, I don't know. Like, what year did the iPod Nano come out? Like, wait, can I guess? Yeah. Oh uh, nine. No. I was gonna say like oh seven. No. The Nano's the rectangle one. The little one. Not the shuffle, but the skinny one with like the, the tall screen kind yeah. of. Yeah, yeah. What what it was, was 2005? it? 2005. Mm. That's way. Or, What's the height of Mount Everest? I love these guys. Uh, eight or eight the eighty one hundred uh, meters. <laughs> Wait, why are you guessing things? <laughs> <What's> the- <laughs> Is that not right? <laughs> I don't know it in meters, but well, Google. I I think I'm like ninety percent. Well, the sure. way you said it too is just like Mount Everest height eighty one. Height in meters. In meters. Oh. That was pretty I good. was pretty close. Wow. Yeah, well, that meters. was very funny. I've watched a handful of Everest. 8,100 meters. Well, the way, the way you... Yeah, I kind of... We're stopped. in America. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think anyone's measured it in yards. In feet. Which is yards. Oh. It's 29,000. I guess what's funny is in my head, they have the number in meters... But someone has to go out there and separately measure it in yeah, yards. In they yards. can't just do the conversion. They don't know what in yards? <laughs> at all. Um, no, I've watched a handful of Everest documentaries, and above, I think eighty one hundred is like the death zone. Got it. And that's pretty close to the top of Everest, so it's in my head that's where it was. Um, wow. Wait, you didn't? Well, you still haven't finished your story. Oh yeah, my pee nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I've been hijacking this. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Just. Fucking don't do it again. Actually, a, oh God, I can't. No, th- finish. Okay. Yeah. All right, P nine. Because I'm no, no, no. Actually, what were you gonna say? A girl came up to me, an old, like an older, wo- not older woman. If you're listening, like forty maybe or thirty. If you've you're been, listening, sl- you've been, sl- <laughs> you've been slinging around older woman this morning. We'll, Older than us. We'll call the 30, 30 something year old woman before we started recording uh, an old milf. Oh, okay, I did not. <laughs> I, that is fucking hearsay. I did not. What I say when these cameras aren't rolling is not to be brought up when the cameras are rolling. 
Did I use the word MILF this morning? Yes. I was Allegedly. joking. I was joking. It's I was choking. Man, I love football. I was panicking. Uh, okay. <laughs> I panicked. I wanted to seem cool. Uh, and, a woman came And up for here. the record, <laughs> okay, and your mom is a lovely lady. I shouldn't have said that. So, <laughs> <laughs> a woman came up at the end and was like, are you rusty? And I was like, no. <laughs> and she was like, you look just like rusty. And I was like, well, yeah, we have a podcast together. Like, She's like, oh, it could be like that kind of thing. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. And then she's like, cool. And just standing there, and I was like, well, great. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a weird yeah. interaction. Anyway, it, she was also not our target. You don't look anything though. like me. Yeah, I don't think we look alike at all. I think it's just like our faces like go back and forth on the screen, so people yep. like conflate us. Um, okay, back to the P9. Guy, wanted, guy wanted to use conflate in a sentence. Is that a today. word? Yeah, I used it perfect. Oh. I've never heard it. Conflate? Never once. And I went to college. Wow. I can't read what that says. Combine into one. Cool. I'm going to use that later. Well, you have a good um, vocabulary. Thank you. I, I think took... you both do, actually. Well, okay. <laughs> you had to dumb down my compliment. You had to water it down by bringing him in. I, mean, I went to the Harvard of the South, so. That's true. No, I didn't mean dumb down right, like you're so dumb. Word... I meant like water down the weight of the compliment by. <sighs> okay, where do you pee everywhere? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> See, that is exactly the. Funny you should set it up that way. So I go to the bathroom at June Shine. I walk yeah. in. It's a... I don't a, love that bathroom. Why not? I remember it stressing me out. Okay. Like getting there, getting to it. You're I so think. exposed to how you have to like wait. Yeah. In that whole hallway. I remember it being, it, I remember it being a nightmare. Well, anyway, Continue. <laughs> it, it was in this particular case too. God, this must be painful to be listening oh to. Oh my God. Uh, it's like pulling teeth. <laughs> yeah, I walk in the bathroom... The seat is covered in pee. Yep. Already. I get into the bathroom. I'm peeing. So I'm not... But the seat's already covered in pee. Yeah. So now here's my dilemma is if I just pee, do my business, and leave, and there's like a, a girl out there, like mm-hmm. there could be like a pretty girl waiting for it. There were pretty girls there. There were a number of pretty girls there. What if there's a pretty girl there, and then she goes in and is like, holy shit, that guy just peed all over the seat. Rusty? Put the seat up. But then she's still going to think it's... She's going to think the guy before you peed. Because why would you put the seat up after you peed all over it? You put the seat up. She's like, this guy this guy before me put the seat up. But the rest of these guys are fucking or, animals. Yeah. Also, why were you peeing with the seat down, you buffoon? No, I hadn't even decided whether I was going to pee. I just walked in and the seat was... What do you mean? Hum- you just went in there to hang out? No, I mean like... All of the thought process I've walked you through before is I haven't even peed yet. I just get in and the seat's already covered. I know, but I'm saying... But I pee with the... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I pee with the seat down sometimes. Really? That's fucked up. I don't know. That's not fucked up. That is fucked up. If you pee on the seat, it's fucked up. I don't. There's no scenario where you're getting out of it scot-free. The seat's getting out of it dry. (laughs) Every time I pee. What happens on the way back when the pee's retracting? I, I cut it off. I mean, I don't. What do you? Oh, you just stop. The seat it? has the seat doesn't go all the way around on these toilets. That's a good point. It's like a okay. U shape. Right, you got me. There. So what do you do? I can. But why don't I just why don't I just put the seat up? Because it's covered in pee. Before no, I'm saying in other scenarios. Sometimes I do. I'm just saying in this particular situation, it was covered in fucking pee. Okay, okay. So, so what put it up and with I, shoe. That's my move. So I I wiped <laughs> I wiped someone I would pee. I would oh that's I was gonna move. that's what I would do I wiped someone else's pee oh, it, but it, it was all over and I wiped oh, I would have used my shoe with the paper towels and like I it. I just like took like the biggest biggest wad yeah. of paper towels ever and wiped it and I was just like that's bullshit someone made me do that how the guy peed that much on the seat was I don't know maybe he peed, I think people maybe people that's was, like what peeing is like for other maybe that's what peeing is like for you and that's why you can't believe i put this <laughs> uh, down sometimes but no, i have I have good accuracy yeah i don't always put the seat up i guess i don't know if that makes me a bad guy i i truly and this is not me like pretending to be a better guy than i am i truly do not remember the last time even in my own home where i peed with the seat down yeah i do it yeah i, I mostly pee with the seat down our friend told me one of the craziest craziest pee things I've ever heard in my entire life. He said that he pees with the seat down, uh, knowing that he's going to pee on the seat, and then when it happens, he takes one of his shoes off, and he uses his sock to wipe it up, and then he puts his shoe back on. That's my roommate. Yeah. 
What? That guy's awesome. Wait, why would he do that? I don't know. He told me that one time. Is he joking? Nope. That's repulsive. Because we had a similar argument where he was like, why would I put the seat up? And I was like, so you don't pee on the seat? He's like, yeah, if I pee on the seat, I just t- I, what, use my sock. Okay, and well, he was being completely serious. I don't pee on the seat. And if I ever were to, I would use toilet paper. I think, it, I think, did you have your own bath? Did you not share a bathroom with girls and when you were a kid? Um, no. Because I would get, if like my mom like sat down and I had like peed on the seat, like. That would never happen. That happened to me multiple times as a kid. And I think it was just like, I, I got that habit out of the way early because I got yelled at. My sister had her own bathroom. Yeah. I guess when I was really little, we shared one, but I don't even remember that shit. Okay. Moral of the story was I clean up some other guy's pee and yeah. walk out there and there's no one there. No pretty girls. What there do you no think? Girls, what do you so think the reasoning is, Will? Like, why do you think guys do that? Pee on the seat? Like, th- to that degree. Do you think it was just like, I'm in public and this is like not my problem? I think he, was, he must have been hammered. Okay. The, like, yeah. it was, it, no, this was the most peed on seat I've ever seen. <laughs> like, I, he must have been hammered is the yeah. whole thing. Can I ask a question to you, Lauren? Sure. Uh, have you ever fallen in because someone has left the seat up? <laughs> fallen in? Yeah, what is that all? Oh. Like, girl, my sisters would, like, it would ca- if I left the seat up, like, constantly fell in, and I was like, <laughs> are you not looking at the toilet when you, like, I... yeah, that's my bad for leaving it up, like, yeah. are you just blindly, like, walking around? No, I don't like, think I've done that. It was, like, a daily occurrence. In my they would household. actually fall. I thought it was just more, like, people would always be like, don't leave the seat up, and I'd be like, what? What are you going to do? Fall in? Did yeah. it actually happen? It's more of an aesthetics thing for D- me. No, no, no. Like, it looks ugly. I, the... I agree. Yeah. Days. Who? Days of, multiple days of the week, my sisters were falling into the... Yeah, that's crazy. And I was like... It, imagine, like, you accidentally flush while they're in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like... <laughs> um, yeah, I remember, I remember being, like, like, not understanding that thought process. Yeah. Like, if I, I go in to sit down... And the seat is up. I would I would put the put seat down the and then I would down. sit down. Yeah, agreed. Guys, as you all know by now, we've teamed up with BetMGM this season. We'll be using BetMGM lines to make all our picks, and we'll have special offers for our listeners each week. If you haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, use bonus code PLAYDATE, and you will get up to a $1,500 first bet offer on your first wager with BetMGM. Here's how it works. First, download the BetMGM app and sign up using our bonus code, PLAYDATE. Second, you are going to deposit at least $10 and place your first wager on any game. And finally, you will receive up to $1,500 in bonus bets if your bet loses. Just make sure you use bonus code PLAYDATE when you sign up. Disclaimer, see BetMGM.com for terms. 21 plus only. U.S. promotional offers not available in New York, Nevada, Ontario, or Puerto Rico. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Available in the U.S. Call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY to 467-369 in New York. Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP in Arizona. 1-800-327-5050 in Massachusetts. 1-800-BETS-OFF in Iowa. 1-800-981-0023 in Puerto Rico. First bet offer for new customers only. Subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days in partnership with Kansas Crossing Casino and Hotel. Don't forget, if you haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, use bonus code PLAYDATE and get your $1,500 first bet offer today. Let's get back into the episode. You guys' outfits look nice today. I feel like you're both very coordinated. Thank you. I thank you. That makes me feel good. Yeah, just like the white sneaks, the white socks. I mean, my, I bought these brand new white sneakers on Saturday, and then we had a fucking baseball thing on monday i will I say why they diamond. look better already better yes with the baseball color on them yeah the brown yeah you can see you it, need right? a little no, I just didn't assume that's what you're it's talking. like the baseball dirt got yeah. all over them and i had to like try to scrub them but they're still like you don't want to scrub them. you just let let no, life that, look at that like that's kind of well i got my first scruff on my birkenstock scruff. i was so sad oh. you gotta let life happen to your shoes yeah. clean yeah, but, shoes look clean shoes look weird to me yeah but like Bait playing in a dirt baseball field two days after buying them is, I don't know, whatever. Baseball man. shoes. They're my baseball shoes. I just bought a new pair. I just impulsively bought a new pair of shoes. I just nice. bought a baseball shoe. They're like red shoe. Pumas. They look like my blue ones kind of, but they're red. Cool. It's fun. I can yeah. picture that. You can wear it with like a, uh, like a, um, 
Chinese soccer jersey or something. You always wear oh, those with yeah, your yeah, Italian yeah. soccer yep, shirt. Yep. I was trying to think of. Oh, one. very fun. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went on. I'm back on my Amazon grind. Oh boy. I got Chester's on it too now. He yeah. ju- also just found out. So two of the I closest think I, people in my yeah. life have just found out about Amazon Prime. I told him. I think it was because I was like talking to him. I was like, "Have you been on this fucking website?" It's like every day there's shit showing up at our door. It is. It's the greatest thing. I signed up for Prime yesterday. Before I was just ordering it willy nilly. Yeah. Now I have Prime. Um, but I ordered a a, a floor lamp, uh, some throw pillows because uh, when I ordered my what's a floor lamp. I just had the craziest deja vu of my entire life. Okay. That was scary. Why? When you said the when yeah, let's just move. Like on. yeah. It was like lower lamp? Just that interaction we just had in my head we've had it a thousand times. That was crazy. Hmm. Uh floor lamp is uh a tripod looking lamp similar to this and um it looks like a camera. Yeah, <laughs> kind of looks a, like a camera. I have a nice floor lamp from Amazon. Oh, it's just a lamp. Yeah, but it's it's on the floor. Yeah, it's just like a tall lamp. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Got it. Um, and then I got. I thought it was like on the floor. Oh no! Uh, like who would want? And yeah. then I got I got new light bulbs because mine are too bright. And I want <laughs> I want no like like shockingly bright. Like yeah. my lamps on my bedside table, I have to put hats over the light bulbs because it's too bright. Got it. And you get uh, the ones you can like adjust. I think, but I haven't figured it they out. Got, I'll get, they got all this crazy. You can get like apps for them and shit now. I know. Uh, the the ones that I ordered are coming with a remote, but I think I'm just going to be a normal guy and just have them. Be. I have some nice bulbs that are like vintage and they're. That's like, kind of what I'm going extra for. Extra warm. I want people to come into my room and be like, ooh. Mm. So uh, I am going to go to the Lego store either today or tomorrow. Um, Hell yeah. Should I build this weekend? Should I build. The Globe, the Typewriter, the Orient Express, or the Hogwarts Express. Are you sure they have all of those at Lego Store? A lot of times the inventory is not as robust as what they have online. I will cause such a scene if they don't have one of them. That I'm they just saying won't. they probably have one of them, but I'm just okay. saying you might Should be better off it? going and no, it's so fun to go in person. And they have yeah. little like these little like mini figures you can Where like, is assemble it? your own. Uh, they have one in the Culver City or not Culver Century City Mall. Lauren, do you want to go after this podcast? I have meetings. What? Today. Why'd you invite Lauren? Because <laughs> you're on horseback riding. Oh yeah. Not after this podcast. Um. Do you want to just play hooky so then go to Lego store? No, I have a ton of work. Wait, to you do. should you should do either the Globe <sighs> or the Hogwarts. Hogwarts. I know, but it, I was looking around my room this morning, and I'm towing the line of too much Harry Potter stuff. For a twenty-three-year-old man, I mean, what colors do you have going on in your room about right my now? Star Wars, uh, I don't. Uh, I have a blue and like cream checkered carpet. I have like beige uh, comforter bed set, wood, uh, wood bed frame, wood thing with all my stuff. It's like blue. It's blues, greens, and like some reds. I was gonna say pop of red. I yeah, like my throw with... pillows are red. Okay, like that. Well, they will be once. I, I get feel the like inserts. a globe would look nice. Yeah, I gotta get. I gotta figure. I gotta decorate my new room. It's so fun. Yeah, I'll help you. I'm excited. I'll finally have the chance. Is Laura good at it? My sister. Yeah, I just had my sisters do everything. Um, I don't really know. I feel like you don't know that much about her. I know a lot. Of, <laughs> I, I was okay. I was gonna say no. I was gonna say no, but yeah. then that felt mean. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Sam would be good. Maybe. Yeah, he's got some good decor. I feel like place. if I feel like he's got like a cool guy room, probably. Uh, yeah, he's got a CGR. Yeah. <laughs> he's was he always cool? Was he cool when you guys were kids? Um, no, I don't. I mean, I think he's cool, but I also think he's just seven years older than us. Oh, and like we think he has it all figured out. Yeah, like I think I, I would like to think that in seven years I will, I will have it figured out like he does. I'm not, and saying I don't even think he would claim that he necessarily. Has I don't it even think out. I was saying he's cool because he has it figured out. I'm saying oh. I think people his age would agree that he's a cool guy, right? Yeah, he has marathons. He has a mustache. He has good hair. Yeah, he's in good shape. All right, let's not. You know. <laughs> it sounds like he, he. We don't have to beat this horse to okay. death. You know, I mean, I think he's. 
I feel like we're like hugging the horse. Hang on, let's not hug this horse to death. Okay. He's uh yeah, I mean he's cool. He's fine. I don't want him to get a big head. I don't think he will ever let hear this. You don't think he listens to my podcast? I would say almost zero percent chance. Well, my dad does, so he could clip my. All right, Mister Mister Denellen, please don't share this. this I don't want Sam to get thing. a big head. He's not, uh, he's fine. All right, you know he's he's he's, he's cool. cool. I like him. Um, let me see. I no, wrote something great. down. I want he's great. To tell you. He's great. Wait, how old are your guys' siblings again? My brother's thirty. My sister's thirty-two. Okay. Um, How old are your sisters? My s- middle sister is 27, and the oldest one is maybe 29. Your oh, your older sister is so cool. Yeah, I would uh, I would the say the one that lives in here. Yeah, I'd say she's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's co- like I don't have any problem. I guess now I'm questioning like like if I I just don't want you to gas my brother up too much because he's I don't you know. We're competitors. I don't think that that's how you should look at it. I think you should look at it um, like like you guys are a team. You're a duo. No, I, I think we're fierce rivals. He's Braun and you're Udonis Haslam. Oh, oh I thought he was like, he's Braun and I'm beauty. Or uh, something no. like Braun. Oh, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then Laura's Mario he's, Chalmers. Wait, he's LeBron? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's Ray Allen. This is not Elvis. He's, he's Ray Allen. You're Udonis Haslam. Laura. Why am I Udonis Haslam? He's good. He was, he's around for a long time. No, I want to be. And Laura's Mario Chalmers. And, this is a, why, these and are your like, dad's Eric Spolstra. Why is Sam the only one who gets like, a good player? <laughs> You notice Aslan was good. He started for a while. Yeah, but he wasn't Ray Allen. On the Heat? I want to be Chris Bosh. Okay. Yeah. Right. Actually, I'd say Sam has a pretty has similar dimensions to Chris Bosh. He's not that much taller than me. No, I'm saying proportions wise. He they have a similar build. Yeah, he's no one's yeah. gonna have a clue like what you guys are talking about. Yeah. Talk about my brother's body. <laughs> I feel like the, I feel like I'm in a fever dream right Same. now. Same. Yeah, you guys are acting weird. Uh, do you see that guy that did the stats and said that like in like ha- like Laura's Lauren has said she feels crazy in like forty five percent of the episode. Really? Yeah, I'm mm. sure. I feel crazy right That's now. Right. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Um, I feel crazy. Did you guys notice that I'm wearing my martini shirt again? Martini shirt. I don't know what that means. It's not that teeny. It's just a martini shirt. Who's Mark Teeny? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the designer? Yeah. Wait, I don't know. What is that? Did no, you wear it's a... just a cute little shirt that I love. But have we talked about that before? Well, last night I wore it, I said, do you guys like my martini shirt? Okay. So I wanted to say it again. <laughs> I do like your martini shirt. Thanks. I do like the hat, too. Thank you. I'm a fake fan. It's giving, um, it's giving... Gracie Abrams yeah. at Fenway. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Do you guys want to RM it up? Let's do it. Um, yeah. Anything any... else you guys want to say? Anything else on our minds? <laughs> Um, oh, I had a dream last night about the rats. And Brian, like, there was a massive one. We were in, like, a restaurant there. Like, our office was in a restaurant. And Brian had to, like, pick one up. Like, at the, uh, some people in our office were, like, servers. And people were trying to enjoy their nice meal. And then we saw a massive rat run across the ground. And then uh, Brian had to, like, pick it up with his hands. Oh, nice. Oh, Here's something I wanted to talk about. I got in an argument with someone about this. Sorry, did I just completely brush that off? I no. kind of zoned out and then towards It wasn't the important. I just wanted to. Okay. I, I loved it. Thanks. And I was totally dialed in the whole time. Your eyelashes grow, like, longer than I've ever seen. Right. It's get, the, it's, them, get them out. It's awesome. You want one? No, you pulled out, like, a Wait, sig- make a wish. Wait, wait, give me one. Give me one. Give me one. <laughs> No, it only come true. You didn't even make a wish. There's no Yeah, I did. John Cena. That was your wish? (laughs) No, I did. I wanted to make a wish. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) Have you seen the. Where was I? I You were telling a story. Well, John Cena's done the most make a wishes of any. Good. I love John. But I saw. asked for him? Yeah, he's like. Or he's done the most. Yeah, like. Make he's done the most. I think he probably does things. every single one. But he seems like a really good. I guy. saw a clip. I think feel like it was like stand up or something. I forget where I saw it, but it was like we can't rule out that there's a correlation <laughs> about being a John Cena fan and developing a terminal. <laughs> <laughs> Statistically, there is a link between John Cena fans. There's a link between John Cena fans and a lot of like things. 
<laughs> with your, with your health. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you were going to say something. Oh, uh, I got in an argument with someone the other yes. day. Can I drink? Yeah. <laughs> can I get 23, dude? <laughs> can Go for it. <laughs> I'm like, glad we cleared that up. <laughs> I told the guy at the liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> I got um, in an argument with the guy. It the waiter. <laughs> um, can you, like, di- does Diet Coke, you can't get fat from Diet Coke, right? There's no cap- I think you'll just die of cancer. In that, But, like, short term, like, you're not gaining any weight, correct? I, I don't think so. What's, what's the calories on it? Zero. No, yeah. but there's a lot more sugars. No, there's big zero fish. sugars. It's like aspartame. Okay, like, well, not sugars. Like, all right, let's see. Can you get chemical. fat from Diet Coke? So, but like when you Google it, there are like multiple schools of thought. Like, no one has, like, uh, John Hopkins is still out. I mean, everything in modern. John Hopkins got pretty fat. If you're drinking a Did ton he really? of them, it I don't can't know. Be good. I don't know anything about John. Here's it. Why is it Johns Hopkins? <laughs> I think they're two guys, right? Oh. In the same way, it's like Carl's Jr. Yeah, yeah. It was like you were just throwing on S's. John Hopkins and Carl's Jr. should get together. I smoked power with Johns Hopkins. <sighs> um, okay, they gained triple the abdominal fat. All right, but I'm not going to rule out that there isn't just a link between, like, people who drink Diet Coke. Tons of soda probably also don't eat. Well, the they were they also, they, I, they were saying they don't know if it's inherently the Diet Coke or sometimes drinking uh, that makes your brain crave like other junk food got it and so it's like they don't know like, i also just feel like a lot of the times people order like a diet soda is like at a like fast food place or something too yeah so there's yeah. like a correlation between like what you're eating while you're drinking it maybe yeah i don't know but you're a big dc guy now eh yeah it's you're so, gonna turn into mr dude, percy people that was are trying my, to um, fucking move around my math life. teacher in high school would just they just had like a two liter that yeah they just take every day just be crushing dr garrett in uh in high school, switched from regular Coke to Diet Coke and lost, like, 80 pounds. Because <laughs> he was drinking, like... Maybe it's linked to weight loss. Well, I think it was, like, he didn't change anything about his... Yeah. It just went from, like, he was drinking five Cokes a day to, like, now you don't have those calories. Yeah, it's, and, like, 500 calories, yeah. All right, should we RM it up? Let's do it. We have a fantastic episode. For, oh, wait, we didn't do our uh, thing. Who's who's number 53? Oh. Uh, Oh, how do we move? Oh. I knew something felt like TJ Oshi. Um, <laughs> give it a shot. That's a crazy poll. Uh, I, I'm gonna go number. Ooh. People are yapping away. Seventy four. That wasn't even close. Leighton Vanderesh. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a hockey player because fifty three. No, late L E I G H or something. Maybe Vander. Oh, 55. He's a 53 neck. is an awkward number. That he does a huge that neck. neck. It's crazy. <laughs> um, uh, CJ Mosley. 57. Uh, Damn it. I don't think many people wear 53. No, no. We're going to get this. We can get this. We can get this. We can get this. Um, uh, I wish I like knew about sports so I could participate. Just Google it, Lauren. No, I, no. There's no, no one. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get I'm about to think of one. I'm about to think of one. Uh, Brian Urlacher. No, he was 54. You you look... Why did you... Mm, yeah, you oh, yeah, you're gonna Why do you listen to him and not me? Why yeah. do you listen... Uh, <laughs> why do you listen to him and not me? All right, one of these guys. Robert Mathis is it, or Shaquille Leonard? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Who's was, this? Um, like, no, no one. No, we don't know any of these guys. All right. Yeah. Denzel Perryman? <laughs> All right, enough. All right, all right. Roadmap. Uh, we have uh, Corey's Pouncy. God damn. It. Oh, one of the Pouncy twins wore fifty three. Yeah. Lauren, when that when Aaron Hernandez murdered that guy, the multiple- Mick Tinglehoff. <laughs> <laughs> that is a guy named Mick Tinglehoff. <laughs> New band name, I call it. All they right, did. Sorry. They did what to Mick? Yeah, they <laughs> tingled him off. <laughs> um. We have your guys' pitches. Wait, what that, were you going to say about Aaron Hernandez? Oh, Aaron Hernandez killed all those guys, and then the Pouncy twins were his boys at Florida, and they were like, free Aaron. But it was clear that he... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, they were like leading the free Hernandez charge. That's tough. We have your guys' pitches, our pitches. Uh, we have a prank call today that I'm kind of nervous about. I might pass to Will. Oh, no. Well, I've done the, I've done the last... No, you haven't. I've made the, the last two calls. No, two ago I called. 
And then you call last episode. Yeah, so that would mean it's you. <laughs> so, but you lied about the last two calls. Okay, yeah. yeah. You got me on that, but it's still your turn. Then we have Am I the Asshole, followed by This Guy Rocks. And then we have Teach Me Something. And then credit to our buddy John Fitchett, who wrote in, we are going to do sitcom episode plots that don't exist. And then we are going to do words that are perfectly named. Nice. It's going to be a good episode. I feel like I'm going to crap my pants right now. I won't lie. I just want to be open about it. <laughs> I'm kind of going through you some can, stuff You can downstairs. use this if you want. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> just like, okay. okay. All right, guys. Quick shout out to our partner, Fireball. Fireball Whiskey is the perfect shot for game day. Whether you're grabbing some of those sneaky little shooters before going into the stadium or going big with the Fireball keg for your party. Whether it's a pregame shot in the tailgate lot or a celebratory touchdown shot at the bar, no matter the method, Fireball is guaranteed to ignite your game day. I personally love Fireball so much. Uh, The last time I took one was uh, before a Rams preseason game. And it got me feeling right. Yeah, I, I, I like a touchdown celebratory fireball shot. Agreed. Uh, and while so many things make football great, we can all agree that nothing beats crushing your rival. There's no better feeling as an athlete or a fan. And this season, Fireball Whiskey wants to provide an extra spark to ignite football rivalries all season long. So here's what we're doing, folks. All right. Rusty and I are both Boston College football fans. And... We are pretty confident in the in the monster that Bill O'Brien is building this year. So we're going to lay it out right now. We think BC is going to win the ACC, and Lauren doesn't because she's a hater. <laughs> and we won't hold it against her, but a little bit we do. Yeah. A little bit we do, for sure. So here's the bet that we're laying out a wager for the season. Boston College wins the ACC in football this year. Lauren has to do a full episode of play date, meaning she has to have a pitch. She has to participate in all the drafts. Uh, we're going to give her an Am I the Asshole. She has to do a prank call. Everything. You have to be a full participant in the episode. Run the gauntlet. Run the gauntlet. If Boston College does not win the ACC, which I can't see that happening because of how good we are, we will buy Lauren a cake with her face on it. One of those ones where you get like a picture. Vanilla with chocolate frosting. Vanilla with chocolate frosting. That might be dicey. We'll put your face on it with chocolate frosting. Yeah. I don't want to get in any legal trouble, but <laughs> we'll play that by ear. We will keep you posted on this throughout the season. Fireball's iconic cinnamon flavor Tastes fire and goes down easy, making it the ultimate crowd pleaser. Go pick up some from your local liquor store and join us in drinking Fireball during our game days this season. Let's get back into the episode. First pitch is from Garrick. <laughs> from Garrick? Garrick? Garrick. <laughs> he says, what's up, Lauren and her two brave little boys? Nice. I've got a pitch for y'all. Okay. What is the worst part about getting sick as an adult? Can, we, can I pause? Somewhere along the way, the format for pitches became it, you have to ask us what's the worst part about blank yeah, yeah and it's lauren and her two blank yeah can you tell me can you read that again what's the worst part what's about the lauren? worst part about getting sick as an adult like you the uh, i just feel like it's like not like you can't just be like oh i'm not going to school today. like you just have shit to do every day so you can't just like be sick yeah uh oh your mom's not there to take care of you there's nobody to take care of you. Introducing Uber for moms. Bang. This app connects empty nest mothers who, okay, this is mean, who no longer have a purpose in their life. With sick, <laughs> I don't like that. With sick 20 I don't like that either, Garrick, but I understand what you You can does. set the app by preference what food she can cook, will she help with laundry, etc. After the ordeal, you get to rate each other. So too many low ratings and you get kicked off the app. Let me know your thoughts and also shout out to my girlfriend fellow playmate natalie for carrying me in my sickness this week. oh hell yeah well done natalie um i love it and here's why i kind of liked being sick as a kid because it was just like i am gonna get weighted on hand and foot yeah we had very i i was not <laughs> like I, my, I i wasn't really allowed to be sick i never missed a day of school my whole life my mom would just what? be like just go to school i didn't miss much like it was yet. like she was like i'm like i'm not feeling it. she's like bullshit you're fine like really yeah and i actually think that like because of that and like i like don't really get sick much ever or if i do like i don't think i like a red i don't know like i i've never missed a, a day of work for being sick either i've never you missed out being sick was like literally i know i think i think it actually sounds great and i it all, i also don't like my mom was if i was like something was wrong like she would actually yeah. help me like well, but rarely are you like, actually sick enough that that's you need what to i'm saying like school. there was no allowance yeah for, like missing my she was just a very like you have to go to school no missing school i missed i would miss like a day every other week 
Yeah, that's crazy. I don't think I missed like one day of high school because I didn't want to fall behind. And I get like anxious if I like wasn't able to like do my work. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. yeah. I, I was not great at school, so I didn't care. But yeah, I would, uh, I would not. Um, so this sounds great though. I would like. It sounds awesome. It sounds awesome. You could. My only worry is like, uh, because they're not your. You're going to fall in love. Yeah. Like, I think you're playing a dangerous game where it's like, a woman who's not related to you, but he's kind of doing like wife duties almost. Like they're do they're like they're like tr- we're waiting on you, right? Yeah. And like that's like kind of the dream. So like if it's like a mom and you're like a twenty three year old kid, yeah. and uh, yeah, I guess they'd have to. Yeah, I'd almost I'd almost want like grandmas <laughs> just to kind of like eliminate. Yeah, any, like it should extend to dads attention. too. Yeah. I think I think the type of get dads that would sign Bro, up. so you want to be turned on by him. <laughs> what? You want to be turned on by him. You wouldn't let me finish what I said. I was you that. want to be turned <laughs> yeah, on by him. I was, saying, I was saying the types of dads that would sign up for that, I feel like would I wouldn't, as a woman, feel comfortable having them enter my home as I would like a woman no, entering. No, but you're, why, it's not an opposite gender. Like You could have a dad come and take care of you. That would be weird for me. That's what I'm saying. It's he wants to get horned up. By no, it's it. not. It's just like my dad didn't. That's not what dad. I'd be like, There's, really that's what my like. I mean, I I feel like that. Like my dad did do that. Yeah, I mean, mine did too. I don't. I just like. I don't. I I if what if he wants to overpower me? What? Like like I can. So hit. you want to get overpowered? It you want? That's not what I'm saying. I'm you want to? Like, it's a strange sexual. man. This immediately become a weird. That's sexual not true. Thing that's not him. true at all. You I'm want saying, him to overpower you? No, that's not what I said. <laughs> I said, what if, like, like if, an, if another man is in the house and I'm sick, like, that's, if something goes haywire, I can't, like, um, wrangle him. I mean, they have background checks. These are, like, good, nice people that genuinely want to take care of So you want to wrangle her? <laughs> I'm just saying, if the da- I think the dad thing would get weird. It I needs think- to be moms and grandmas. Okay. I mean, I, yeah, I'd, I, I, I never had any of this really in terms of like the sick stuff, but I feel like in the, growing up, like my dad was more like he would have. Would have what? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what talk I'm trying to this? say. No, no, no. I just think like, in like. How does it make you feel that your mom abandoned you? My mom didn't. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. You, they're. She was sending you to school and putting there was no the, putting discrepancy the other, between the she was two putting of them. the other children at risk. No, I'm saying like this, I don't view like their roles as like any different growing up. Oh, that's interesting. Like there was not like this is the thing my mom would do and this is the thing my dad would do. Oh, mine could not be could not have. They been were more, they both worked different. and they both had their turns like cooking and taking care of the yeah. house and everything. Like I don't both know. of my parents worked, uh, but like if I was sick, I feel like my mom. St- Stayed home. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think same though, because my mom wanted to. Yeah, it was like a great excuse, like to go back to like, uh, when you were like a little kid. Yeah, I mean, when I was in middle school and high school, she wouldn't stay home. But and I like, think that that's what this app is perfect for, like the moms well, that I guess want to. My care. mom was a stay-at-home mom when I was until I was like eight. Yeah. So I guess honestly, probably I did have get. I like my tonsils and shit. It's probably a lot of shit that she did that was. If she's listening to this, she's probably like bullshit. <laughs> I took care of him sick so many times, and I just was really little. I think. Yeah. And I remember more. Yeah. All right. Well, this is a good idea. Brilliant idea. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next pitch is from Dimitri. That was epic. Dude, that was awesome. I Dimitri. Love I love hanging out, dude. We should film this and put it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He says, essentially, my pitch is a vacation resort where guests complete in a series of mini games and challenges. Our target demographic is people who want to go on reality shows like Survivor or Big Brother, but do not want to make a long-term commitment and just want to have a similar experience with friends and family members. It's so fun. The group that wins the most gets their vacation fully comped. Many games will take place throughout the day and have small rewards. For example, everyone on the resort will have to pour a beer and whoever gets the least foam wins free drinks for the duration of the stay. At dinner, the group who can catch the most hibachi in their mouth wins free meals. During the evening, there will be a big physical challenge where families 
Friend groups and couples compete against each other, and the losing group is booked on the flight home. Really enjoy listening to the pod. Love from Canada. I love that. Sounds unbelievable. That's right up Will's alley. Like I like game shows, but I think you like them a little more. So I'd like to hear your thought process. Yeah, I mean, I, I used to. I mean, I honestly have been a little out. of I'm waiting for the new season of Survivor to 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 start up. I'm kind of taking the summer off, but uh, <laughs> I love Survivor. Yeah, and I want to be on it really bad. Have I done anything to make that happen? No, I need to audition. But Chester sent in a couple audition tapes. He has, he has. And one of my one of my fellow podcasters is going on this next season. Uh, one of the guys from Pod Save America. Not to go all lib libby on you, but that's like Pod Save America sounds like right wing nut jobs. No, it's, it's the opposite. It's, no, no, I know. I'm saying like like yeah. If you yeah, hadn't yeah. if you hadn't said anything, I would I would have thought. Yeah, I get yeah. Trumpers. Yeah, no. Anyway, that's the only podcast I listen to, and um, one of them is on this season of Survivor that's about to come. That's out. sick. So hopefully he does well, and then they're like, "We got to get more podcasters on." Is kind of my game plan. Does he look anything like you? Yeah, I mean, he's a white dude with brown hair and a podcast and a podcast. He's older though. Speaking I think he has, of like a family and shit. Speaking of uh, liberals. Did you or former liberals? Did you hear that? Uh, liberals. Did you hear that RFK whale story? Oh, what he like beheaded a whale? He, they a whale. That guy just <laughs> is having the like craziest press run of insane. Well, no, this came out in like 2014, but I think like because he was on, he was on like the other side. They were like they like didn't want to talk about it, but now that he's like against them they're like yeah. bringing it up he a whale washed up on the beach and they went he took rather the whole family they went down to the beach and cut its head off with a chainsaw put it on top of the car and drove it somewhere was and, it dead yeah okay yeah that uh, yeah yeah sorry yeah, it was yeah, dead yeah. and uh and they said they had to put uh they all put plastic bags over their heads with uh mouth holes because whale juice was flying into the car Oh, that is insane. But my question is like, wh- why? Wh- one, why? But two, like, does he have the authority to do that? He's a Kennedy. Yeah, I guess that's correct. But like, is there like some government? There has to be some governing body that would presumably take care of the whale yes, carcass. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just took they it upon himself? To, yeah. Ew. Also, I'm also, I'm calling up on the plastic bags on your head because I feel like that was the thing I was most taught was gonna like you know how people are like oh i always thought quicksand would be a bigger yeah like my mom would be like anytime we were near a plastic bag yeah like do not put that on your head yeah. i was like oh, i wasn't gonna put it on my head i thought it was instant death yeah yeah same like i thought like i yeah 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 i think i was like if there was a plastic bag on my head and i was suffocating i feel like i could just immediately rip it open you 100 percent could but i think uh as a ch- maybe as maybe a child, your fingers aren't like strong. I don't know. Yeah. I think as a mom, you're constantly like, I need to make them aware of like these minor things that could kill them because if it yeah. happened, I would f- feel horrible. I th- I think about yeah, that seems terrifying. Being like a parent of a young kid, I saw like a parent like biking with their kid the other day, and I was yep. like, God, I that she just you know that kid fucking swerves into traffic yeah. in a heartbeat, yeah, like. I don't, yeah. I learned about uh, the soft spot that babies had on their head. Have you heard about this? No. It's like a part where, like, their skull is still kind of, like, soft. And, like, literally, if you just, like, if you pressed it, they would just be, like, brain dead forever. And it has made me, like, I, like, don't want to be anywhere near. You haven't pressed any baby's head since you found out? Yeah. No, I just mean, like, like, the, like, that seems like a thing that could happen. Yeah. So easily. I could explain. Yeah, I know. That could be. That could be the giant the giant dent in the back of Lauren's head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I make a side a side comment really Please. quick? This uh-huh. is so weird. Sorry, I checked my phone. But Troy texted me that he had a dream last night that I cheated on him with with John Cena. Is that not so insane that we were just talking about him? That is crazy. That would be Lauren's make a wish. And I haven't ta- and I haven't heard that man's name in months. I just had to share That's that crazy. Really funny. That's crazy. Um Well what does that sl- Willie, let's break that down. What does that mean <laughs> for Troy and Lauren's relationship? That means that <laughs> she's getting into pro wrestling. She's gonna Yeah, that he's worried about people that he can't see. 
Yeah. In her life. He's worried about, you know, yeah. Can't see me. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, anyway, back to the baby thing. Mm -hmm. I like want to be a mom so bad, but I'm like terrified because I feel like there's so many aspects about like, I remember I was babysitting once, like a five month old baby. And I almost had a panic attack because yeah. I thought he was choking. Yep. Like so scary. I think I'm just going to adopt a kid that's already like five. Five. Yeah, I was like, I was, I couldn't commit to yeah. four or five. Uh, I would like to adopt a kid who's thirty, and then treat him like a baby, and see what happens. Try to Benjamin button him. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So here's a question: You get, a, you adopt a baby, or you have a baby? Not a question, but okay. You put, you put him uh, with all women on an island. Does he grow up to be a normal? boy like or does he you already he, asked this oh i did already oh really i think about this all the time yeah wait i'm pretty sure it's on the pod yeah we were saying like does he grow up to be like a normal we weren't boy? saying this he was asking this or do or does he is he a woman does he come out well, a woman? normal is subjective That's okay does he come out as a like a true like a what you would think of like a traditional man okay. or like does he have like i think is he like be more feminine i think yeah. yeah i mean i think there's yeah. part of things yeah. that are it's like yeah. his environment yeah yeah i mean yeah. All right. Do you guys want to do your? All right. Here's a question. Oh. <laughs> a boy is raised on an island of squirrels. Does he hoard nuts in the winter? <laughs> um. Yeah. Probably. Actually, no. No, he probably doesn't because he just can't eat them. His body can't process them. Or, or can he? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think he can. Or could he? Maybe. <laughs> who knows yeah. alright do you guys want to do your pitches presented by cash, cash app wait Eat last pee. last thing about squirrels uh -huh. this morning I looked in my window and there was like a towel there was like a towel like on the roof like across the street yeah <laughs> it was just a squirrel going nuts on it no pun intended like just humping the towel and then the, <laughs> the, second, the second that I saw it he, he got shy he ran away yeah <laughs> alright Welcome oh. to the pitch sesh brought to you by Cash App. It, it pays to get paid on Cash App. Cash App. Um, oh, man. Wait, do, do your best, Josh. I'm Dude, I did a... Uh, I got... I'll fucking sue your ass. I live paycheck to paycheck. You know what's crazy is it It sounds like we're making fun of someone with autism, but we're actually just making fun of his Long Island accent. Yeah, it's a Long Island accent. Yeah. Who, I, who is it? Josh Block. Josh Block. He's one of our friends. Um, ready for this? Remote control garbage cans. Hear me out. Think about it. You can, the morning, like whatever's like trash day or whatever, yeah. like I just have to wheel it out to the end of my driveway and back. It's like, I don't want to like put shoes on and mm -hmm. underwear on and... Mm -hmm makeup on and everything mm -hmm. good to go do it so what if i just had a little remote so i just like walk out to my door and i could just drive it out to the thing mm -hmm. then once the trash man comes and just drive it right back in mm -hmm. easy i was thinking even maybe you could like map it out and then automate it to where mm -hmm. it like gets up in the middle of the night on trash night and just doo -doo 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 -doo. i actually like the idea that it has feet rather than wheels but maybe that's too I, much and yeah, arms. Like, yeah and arms. um but i just think that would that that feels like a no-brainer yeah, I I agree. I um I have a trash chute, ooh, which is fun for me. Well, yeah, you live in an apartment. Though. I live in an That's apartment, different. um, but you, we could have the indoor ones because I still have to take the bag to the trash chute every like thirty seconds. Yes, like we go through so much garbage. So the indoor one would get your your little trash can would walk up and dump it in the trash chute. Yeah, yeah, be awesome. I like that. Um, the lady, the trash chute is right next to this apartment that has a ring camera. Okay. And I'm going to the trash chute like four to five times a week. Okay. Um, and like folding up like big boxes and like shoving them down. And like most of the time I'm like in my pajamas or like sometimes like do it in my boxers or whatever. And like the last couple times I've had like some serious trouble folding up the boxes. And I'm just picturing them watching this being like, this guy fucking... They're getting like cannot, you cannot yeah. figure it out. <laughs> That's um, cool. All right, my pitch is called open closet. Open closet. Okay, you post clothes that you're looking to get rid of, right? Or clothes 
that you're looking to buy. Uh, and you put under it what you'd be willing to trade for them, right? So you're like... It's a barter thing? Hear me out. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. For example, if I'm looking to get um, your that sweatshirt that you're wearing... Nope. I can post uh, in the comments different items from my closet that I would be willing to trade for that sweatshirt, right? And you can like accept it or decline it. Got then it. other people can go in the comments and see like, okay, he's willing to part ways with this. Maybe he can't get that sweatshirt, but like I have stuff that I would like to trade for his stuff and so on and so forth. I like it. And okay. so, yeah, it's kind of like... Um, I don't know. There's no money involved. It's just trading. Maybe you could be like, I'll give you that sweatshirt and like I'll Venmo you 20 bucks. The world's kind of your oyster. You can do yeah. whatever you want. Interesting. Yeah, okay. yeah, I like the idea. I mean, I think you'd have to find people with like the same size and style. Yeah. And then you could probably could like develop relationships and like, yeah, I trade yeah. with him a lot. Yeah, I think it's like you find, get similar to the way you find people who like their vibe on like Instagram. You're just like, I like this guy's vibe. Yeah. Let's follow each other. I like that a lot. Okay, guys, let's take a minute to talk about Cash App. You probably know Cash App as the place to send people money, like when you need to settle up with your friends after a night out on the town. We're here to tell you that Cash App actually has a lot more to offer. Don't overlook Cash App like I was overlooked my entire life until this very moment when I got a Cash App deal. Cash App is the place for a faster, simpler way to manage your money. You can start saving with as little as $1 as there are no minimum balance requirements. With Cash App savings, you can get the most from your money with no hidden fees and no account fees. Cash App makes it easier for you to save money with high yield savings so you can save up for the things you love, like a big four foot statue of one of your friends. Cash App gives you control over your money so you can get control over your money like I get control of my friends to make them pose for four foot <laughs> statues. And you can support your local community with the money you're saving on Cash App. I like to support the local statue maker. We're actually going to use our Cash App money uh, this week when I'm going to pose for Will's new statue. Mm -hmm. One more. Do download the app and take control of your finances with Cash App. Join the millions who already manage their money with Cash App and start saving today. Make the most out of your money. It pays to get paid on Cash App. Let's get back into this fantastic episode of podcasting. All right, guys, let's take a minute to talk about Chubby's. I've been wearing their original stretch shorts, and I love how comfortable the elastic waistband is. They come in three different lengths, so, you know, however short or long I'm feeling, they got me looking good, and I'm feeling good. Will, why do you like chubbies? I like chubbies because, honestly, the word chubby is really fun to say. Agreed? That's number one. Number two, their new Friday shirt is the comfiest shirt. I will die on this hill, and I've died on this hill before, and I will continue to die on this hill over and over again, Hummer. I don't know why you keep doing it. No one's disagreeing with you. I know, but <laughs> if you ever did, I will die for this. Uh, the Friday shirt is like comfy, soft, breathable. It's the perfect, it is the perfect shirt material. Can't say enough good things. And would you look at that, folks? For a limited time, our friends at Chubby's are giving our listeners 20% off with the promo code PLAYDATE20 at checkout at chubbyshorts.com. That's 20% off your order with the promo code PLAYDATE20. Support our show and tell them that we sent you this fall Make the most out of every moment with Chubby's. Shop now and fall into comfort one stylish piece at a time. Let's get back into the episode. I was just in the bathroom before we get back into it, and uh, we just got a huge shipment of the new card game. That oh, we hell have yeah. Target. So we should check it out. Almost Friday the pregame. Yeah. Target. It's, uh, it's killer. It's great. Target.com or I think in person and most of Yeah, my buddy Matt Russo sent me a picture of one in like Wareham, Mass or there like somewhere go. random. That's so. a hot spot for the card game So. Yeah. Check it out. Um, have you guys seen Lana Del Rey's new boyfriend? No. He's like super old and he's like a crocodile hunter. And That's awesome. Pull him up. It's insane. He uh, He's a crocodile hunter? I mean, he does like tours. Yeah, good. Like, yeah, they go all the way left. Isn't that insane? Oh. Oh. What? How's he pulling that? Where'd she even? Yeah. <laughs> she went on a boat Where'd tour. Where'd she even meet him? She went on one of his airboat tours in 2019 and now they're together. And ima oh. imagine uh, he's two kids. Imagine your dad's dating Lana Del Rey. How yeah. old is she? She's like 30, 30 maybe. 35, I want to say. Mm. Around. Oh, she's 39. Jeez. Well done, Lana. Oh, you do looks, that for next week's episode. She looks oh, wait. incredible. <laughs> you do right. it for two months ago's episode. Two months ago's episode. Um, all right, Willie. Just, let's do Emma Essel or do you want to do the prank call, Willie? Prank call, Willie. I don't want to do the prank call. So unless you want to do it. 
I don't want to do. I don't want to have a segment that I'm like dreading each week. So I, I think we should just do it sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I just don't. I well, no. If you want to do it, do I it. don't want to do it. Today. That's what I'm saying. I just like, prank calls. It stresses me yeah. out. So should yeah. I just cut this part? Yeah. No. Talk no. I think include it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, guys. So that'll find be out if someone's the asshole. Will you go back maybe, to Google maybe if or... I get them oh, yeah, muster sorry. up the carnage. Or wait, did we put something? Did you put something up asking for prank? Oh no, no, it was about. I Never posted draft. something asking, and he asked posted something asking for a story or for drafts. Let's hear about who's the oh. asshole is. Let's see whose asshole is it. Pull up, pull it up. Am I the asshole? Submission from Benjamin. Hi, hey, Benjamin. Benji. I worked at a summer school this past year and a bunch of younger fa- faculty members started a group chat to communicate while working together. I was hardly ever that active, but would chime in once in a while. Now that the summer school is over and we've all moved back to our respect as respective colleges or places of employment, most of the people in the group chat continue to text um, their life updates and general conversation. I don't see a world in which I ever contribute to another conversation in this group chat. Am I an asshole for leaving it? My biggest fear is that the automated notification that I left the group chat would do more harm than me would do more harm than me to continue be in it and just not check it or text in it. Wait, what? This is a lame one. Sorry, but... Well, no, it's like a... Qui- it's just like a... Just mute it. No, I know, but that's why I wanted to... Wait, I... People- I'm a, yeah, I, I... Oh, my God, I feel crazy right now. Um, I deal with this as well because if you're in the group chat but it's muted... And something that like pertains to you happens in there, but it sounds like that has never happened in this group chat. Yeah, maybe I don't know. I I think uh, you're. Not I an- think like sometimes you gotta just you gotta just bite the bullet and leave it. I d- I don't think you is he ever gonna see these people again? Probably maybe. one time. Probably maybe next. Is summer? he a teacher? Maybe next summer, right? Yeah, he worked. Well, he worked at a summer school. Yeah, just mute it. I think you just mute it. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, mute yeah. it. You're not the asshole. Mute it. Not the asshole, but mute Dude, it. My but I also understand your concern. I would be. I would not really want to either. Um, okay. That was just like a question. Sorry, your group thing. chat's too popping. All right. I have another actual Am I the Asshole, but I just wanted to... Um, so, do you remember the guy that got kicked out of his wedding party? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That Am I the Asshole? Because so he was going to... Michigan didn't, or yeah, something. Didn't want to get, didn't yeah, want to something. Well, so yeah. he sent a message. Um, he said, so remember how I got kicked out of a wedding party? That was about three years ago. Literally the week that y'all talked about mine on the pod, one of my other friends who was getting married in two weeks had to remove someone from his wedding, and I got called up to be a groomsman in this one. It's got to be some type of karma thing that says I'm not the asshole for the last one because what are the odds? Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Full circle you're, moment. You got called up to the big league. Yeah, that's big time. I thought that was great. Okay, and then this guy we're going to call. This is... Uh, Clayton, he says, dear, what? <laughs> just like, why'd you say you, it like that? You clearly had the name in front of it and you were like, this is from like, um, I don't know, like yeah, don't Clayton know, or something. No, it's a, well, I'm. Is it a made up oh, name? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, what's his real name? I don't know. Okay. Dear Lauren and the Butt Chuck brothers, or Butt Chug. <laughs> butt Chuck. I don't like that. How much wood would a wood chuck? How much, how much beer could a wood chuck butt chug how much butt could a butt chug chug if a butt chug could chug butt okay he says i know that wait what oh okay i said pretty good is what i was saying am i the asshole for running away and hiding during an intimate encounter with a 45 year old woman at a rodeo last year if you want to call i can go into detail but wait say it again am i the asshole for running away and hiding during an intimate encounter with a 45 year old woman at a rodeo rodeo last year okay i'm gonna say no it sounds like you had it going no but he (laughs) wants he has a a story and we're gonna call him go call him what are we the phone company what are we gonna call him (laughs) dude you've got to do stand up yeah you bailed on your stand up dude oh i know no that was a clip from detroiters though have you seen that yeah but I'm saying you got to do stand. I don't want to do stand up anymore. I'm okay. too scared. Okay. I'd rather do sit down. Yeah. That's oh, kind of what a podcast is. My buddy does sit down. Yeah, kind of. What's his name again? Crinchant. Hello? Wait, put on. Is this Crinchant? <laughs> this is Crinchant, yes. Nice. How's it going? I'm good. How are you guys? Great. Good. Oh, I'm wow. doing good. This is, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about your predicament? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I know, um, I know I'm the bad guy. I'll just say you face it. Um, right 
I was at I was at a rodeo with my cousin and some. Can you turn it up? This was like just over a year ago. Uh, it was like a big fairground kind of. A big fairground. And there was kind of yeah, like I don't know how to describe it. There's a big field, and there was like a track for the horse races and and all the rodeo activities. I, I don't know. Sorry, could you try to speak up a little bit? My vol- my volume's yeah, I, up all the way. Yeah, you're... I have my AirPod in. I can just take my AirPod out. Okay. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, it was like a big like fair. I don't know. I don't know how to describe a fairground. Yeah. Like, uh, there was a big there was a big field where there was like a bunch of uh, campsites, kind of, and then I don't know. It's yeah. So there was a there was a playground and like a giant bathroom building too. And so um, that was I had. I had had a had a couple of drinks that night, and we had kind of become like the the party campsite. Nice. And our neighbors just fucking hated us because we were up. Uh, everyone was partying, um, and I was wearing a shirt that said "I like older women" <laughs> in the in the in the vote for Pedro font. Okay. So you, so you have a pretty good picture of that. Mm-hmm. Did it say I like older women and it said like something like that? No, no, it just said I like older women. I okay, okay. Was this was this true or was this to be funny? Um, you know, it's it's a bit of a thing in my friend group that I I do I do I do I do like them. So nice. Uh, never to this never to this extreme before. Okay. She was a, a fair bit older than me. I, I I can't tell you how old she really was, but. I would guess like 40. Okay. I'm, I'm 21. So, um, yeah, the story goes like starting to wind down and, uh, you know, I was kind of, I was kind of in a mood. I was looking for somebody and I ended up, you know, talking to this lady. I couldn't tell you what I really said. It was, I was a little inebriated. Yep. Um, but it must've worked because, you know, a couple minutes later we were off. We we're outside, uh, in between a chain link fence and someone's camper that they were staying in. Uh, so not the most romantic setting, but we were also disagree. <laughs> like feet away from where all the horses that were partaking in the rodeo activities were yeah. being kept. So it uh, smelled awesome. Yeah. So I'll spare you the, the details, but this is me and this lady were kind of doing our thing, you know, and uh, for probably no more than two or three minutes. And nice. I started getting a smell of poop. And I was horrified. I, I, I it kind of like it was a come to Jesus moment. I was like, "What am I doing? This is this." T- please tell me we're talking like, like horse, horse poop, poop right? Horse poop, right? Uh, you know, and I kind of, I kind of figured that out a couple days later. I put two and two together. Okay, but in in my in my mind at the time was not that was I wasn't thinking very clearly. Yeah, uh, yeah. You thought she pooped herself? And I thought that this lady smelled like poop. Yes. So okay. Not, yeah. Not, I, you know, I. I'm sure you can understand why that would kind of kill the mood. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, so I kind of, for some people, for some, for you, it might, <laughs> yeah. maybe not for you. If yeah. that's your thing, you know, you, you, you go for it. All the power to you. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I came up with an excuse to cut it short. I think I just said I had the key. Um, and as I'm walking, wait, wait, through, can you try and remember what the excuse was? I really want to get to pee. I think. Oh, oh. I think I, I, yeah, no, I told her that I had to pee. I think I might've just said, you know, it's not worth Something, something's going on. This ain't, this ain't gonna go. This ain't gonna work. Yep. Uh, she said she had to pee too. So I, I said I would, I would walk with her to the, to the bathroom. <laughs> she was like, building. "Thank God, I have to shit." Uh, it was only at this time she asked me what my name was, and immediately I just said Franklin, which, as you know, is not my name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you came, up, what name you said I was, or if you said my real name. I don't really care. Um, but I said I was Franklin. Uh, don't, don't, I don't know if she told me her name. I really don't remember, but we got to the, the bathroom building and she, she was like, okay, I'll be out in a minute. Just, just wait for me here. Uh, and the second the doors closed, I was so, I was so traumatized. I ran to the playground that I mentioned and laid down on the slide where you, so you couldn't see me from the other side. I was laying in the slide halfway up, just very, very drunk. Wearing cowboy boots, jeans, and an I like older women shirt. Not the kind of guy you want to see in a playground. Yeah, yeah you almost got a lawsuit or something, dude. Yeah, you know what? It wasn't. It's not my proudest moment. Um, and so I, 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 after about ten minutes, I walked back to our campsite, 
and I, I I don't know why I think someone was sleeping in my tent, but I but I climbed into the bed of my friend's truck whose campsite we were staying at. I, I he's not even my friend; he's my cousin's friend. I didn't really know him at the time, uh, and I laid down in there with just a sleeping bag. And it was the coldest I've ever been in my life. Mm. I slept for maybe three hours, and then I got up and and walked into his his camper that he was staying in. Uh, and when when I finally woke up in the morning, it had maybe been like an hour, and I see this fucking lady walking into our campsite with what I can only imagine is her son. And this guy was like this kid. It was like a twelve to fourteen year old kid. Oh god! And so immediately, I just ran back inside the camper and hid. I did not want to be, you know, I didn't want to be made Jeez. out. I didn't want to be spotted. Um, and she was looking for her phone, and I guess that she might have known someone there. So I, I, I never really told anybody. I mean, I, I've told my cousin, I've told some of my friends, but I, nobody else that was there. I really mentioned that this happened to, because, yeah, I don't know if they knew her or what the deal was. Because, yeah. Uh, my proudest moment i know that i'm probably the uh probably the a-hole here i don't know if you are i don't think you yeah are. i don't know if you are no? i mean she's twice your age yeah 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 you know and that's kind of on me i probably shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have gone for that no 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 i don't i disagree you you took a shot yeah yeah we're gonna we're gonna break it down yeah yeah we'll, we'll let we'll, you go and break it down but you can listen this this will come out next wednesday Perfect. I, I met at that rodeo. I met another. I met another almost Friday fan who was wearing. Oh hell yeah! It was pretty awesome. Nice. And that was the only other person I've ever met. That rodeo was, it was a little crazy. My cousin also got drugged with with DMT, so that was cool. Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> Scary. A little rowdy time. Wow. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for calling in. Thank you guys. Bye, Crenchant. <laughs> bye, 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 Will. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. What do we think, guys? Uh, yeah, I feel like it's not really an am I the asshole situation. I, I think it is. Or, no, no, I, I feel think like he just it. wanted to tell the well, could be, You could be the asshole. He ditched a woman yeah, in the middle. He did ditch her in the bathroom. Middle of intercourse. That's true. Well, okay, I don't know about that. What? I don't think he said they were having intercourse. Oh, that's what I was picturing. Same. You are picturing intercourse? Yeah. Against like a fence with yeah. like, horses. Me too. I had it all pictured. Oh, or were you I, in between a fence and a trailer? I was picturing like maybe they're just like making out. Maybe they're going to town. Who knows? I think they were going nuts on each other. <laughs> well, and and um, the bathroom ditching in the bathroom is kind of a funny move. Yeah. yeah, but also like if you're a mom and you're, you know, I know if you're 20 years older than the guy doing that kind of stuff, like you know, you it's maybe, a little weird that she was yeah going after a 21 year old. Yep. Um, I think you are. Not the asshole. I say, I'd say you're not the asshole, but you you had a bit of an Icarus moment. You flew a little too close to the sun. Yeah. And uh, you had fun. And I think we should just keep in mind, maybe, uh, be a little bit more mindful about who we're hooking up with, maybe. Yeah. It sounds like it, would, it sounds like it would have been awesome if it didn't smell like poop. Yeah, it's also that is also hysterical that the poop was definitely from the horses, but he Yeah, he was like she was like did she crapped her pants. Like a bunch of crap in her pants. <laughs> um All right. All right. I'm gonna say not the asshole. Not the asshole. NTA. And now do you guys wanna do this guy rocks or teach me something first? This guy rocks. This All right. I'm going to share this with you, Lauren, on airdrop. This guy's the rock. <laughs> but, but, and it's Dwayne Johnson again. So are you guys are you guys familiar with um, the, the U.S. Open of Tennis is happening right now? No. Okay, so pause it, Lauren. There's this drink. There's I know this, the U.S. Open of Tennis. There's this drink called, like, the Melon Deuce or something. Like, it's like a, it's a known thing, right? Mm-hmm. It's a, Something deuce. I don't remember. Honey deuce. Honey deuce. That's what it is. And um, what we are watching right now is there is a man, presumably uh, the husband of the woman we're about to see, and he's bringing back two honey deuces, right? Okay. And let's just see what happens. What did their mindset last year? They're going to play the long game. Yeah. <laughs> he goes to hand his wife the drink, and just the guy behind them. Just also brought two and gave one to his wife, and he's sitting there like, wait, "What?" Oh, he's sitting there like so confused. Oh, wait, what happened? I, Watch I, I, the guy in the blue shirt's face when uh, when the other guy hands his wife a drink. 
<laughs> That's a start. Wait, I need to know what's going on. They must know each other, but like he was so excited to give her a honey. She has a ring on her finger, so one of them is. It's surely the the guy who's upset is her husband, but I just thought this was hilarious. That is very funny. That is funny. So which guy rocks? I think the guy who got who got. Uh, I think the guy in front rocks. Yeah. And his wife needs to stop taking drinks from that other guy. It's <laughs> a funny video. I just got a peek of Will's. This guy rocks <laughs> from his phone. All right. Will, who's. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like a, a guy. I just play it. There's no context. He's a freaky looking. Says, we'll just explain what he looks like to the. Uh, he's got a mohawk and a goatee. And it's, I will say, it's not a centered mohawk. No. It looks yeah. like he's yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> it says uh, low-cost chicken strips are possible. He's also, he might be, yeah, I don't want to be mean, but he's, I've never seen a guy that looks like him. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a new look. Just want to give an update that I did find some decently priced chicken strips. <laughs> if you go to Hardee's, after 2 p.m., they give you like 10, 10 strips for $7.99. It's a hell of a deal. That's pretty much an awesome deal by today's standards. So, they can be found, I guess. And they're pretty good. Nice and crispy. <laughs> gotta be fresh. If they're not fresh, they suck. Yeah. Well, they don't suck. They're just not. It's not good. They're not as good. I think that's all I got for today. <laughs> just an update. There, there are some deals out there. <laughs> oh, that's gonna bum funny. me out. Actually, yeah, I. Uh... I I miss the days when I could watch guys like that and it was just funny. Yeah, yeah. There is now, I think it's just we're like getting a little bit older and like more aware of like what life is like maybe. And it's yeah. like just, he has a whole life outside of that 45 seconds. Like he's he's sitting there somewhere right now doing something and that's strange. i mean he, he could be happy in the rest of his life i think he's happy i'm just saying it bums me out uh it just bums me out yeah it's a little tough to watch that one is a little tough to watch <laughs> it just it it dragged on towards the yeah. end hey, i mean they don't suck about. they're just not as good yeah you know? Wait, yeah, he was very middle of the road on everything. He yeah. was like, he would kind of walk things back. Are there Hardys here? It might be it's Carl's Jr. here. Yeah. It's the same thing. Ooh. All right. Would you guys like to know something about the metric system? Yeah. I would love to. Pirates are likely the reason that the U.S. did not adopt the metric system. Oh. There was this French scientist named Joseph, Joseph Dombre, and they captured him. And he was on his way to the U.S., where he was going to pitch the metric system that was being used in Europe. So he had, like, a physical, like, weight that was, like, one... It was the perfect, like, kilogram, whatever. And he was yeah. going to, like, bring it there. By the time he got released and came back to America with a new kilogram weight, his first one was confiscated by pirates. We had already adopted our current system, and it was too late. So mm -hmm. if that guy had made it, we sh almost surely would have... Like, it Thank would be... Thank God for pirates. I know. Can you imagine if it was like fourth and three meters? Yeah, that's horrible. I kind of like that we have our own thing. It's awesome. Yeah. It's killer. It's also like, it's hilarious that it doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. It's ridiculous. There's no it's like the most rhyme American or reason. Thing. Like, we're just yeah. like, yep, nope, we're doing it this way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, teach me right, like that. Really. Uh, do you know about the men's marathon at the 1904 Summer Olympics? Uh, yeah, I do, but just for the people at home, maybe we could, <laughs> we could tell them. Frederick Lors was greeted as the apparent winner. He was lately, later disqualified because he had hitched a ride in a car. Part of the race. <laughs> oh. Thomas Hicks, the actual winner, was near collapse and hallucinating by the end of the race. A side effect, a side effect of being administered brandy, raw eggs, and some other drug by his trainers. <laughs> the fourth place finisher, uh, Anadarin Carvajal, Took a nap during the race after <laughs> eating spoiled apples. <laughs> yeah, you know, ride is hilarious. I know this is this is the most Doesn't ridiculous. It keep going like there's like more random shit that there weren't like people like 
people uh, were, like running barefoot. Wait, you know shit. about this? It, it was Actually. the one where I didn't know it was this one, but I knew oh. there was one where like it was just absolute mayhem. Yeah, D- John Lorden, who had won the 1903 Boston Marathon, was violently ill after 10 miles and retired. <laughs> Sam Malore, who had won the 1902 Boston Marathon, was overcome by the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Became disoriented and ultimately dropped out of the race. Because William like, Garcia of the United States was found lying on the road along the marathon course unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Severe internal injuries that have been caused by breathing clouds of dust. <laughs> um, Overcome by the dust be a good like metal album. Yeah. And then let's see. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, and the guy who took the car claimed that he was playing a practical joke. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Willie, do you want to do sitcoms first or words first? Yeah. Oh, which one? Let me guess. You want to know which one? <laughs> Asshole. Uh, let's do words. Okay, these these are words that are perfectly named. These are words that sound exactly like what they mean. Shampoo. Ah, I like that. Egg. Yep. An egg. I mean, that is an egg. Thumb. Yep. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Goof. Fist. Mm, yes. Uh, inject. Yes. Very Come good. Um, this one's spelled wrong, but I think it's the correct word for what this thing is. Possum. Possum? That's a yeah. pl- Like, you're holding it up. That's a possum. Yep. Isn't it opossum? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. But you don't pronounce the O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, a buoy. Explain, give me a definition. Like a in the water? Oh, a buoy! I thought you were. I thought it was like a buoy. No, no, no. <laughs> buoy. Yeah, buoy is buoy's like a buoy. Yep. Buoy, buoy, obtuse, obtuse. Yep, yep. Grandfather. <laughs> uh, mud. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. Fist. You got. A, you already did fist. Oh. No, I did thumb. <laughs> no, you did fist. You did. Right? Yeah. You did fist twice. Oh, oh! I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. Pistol. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Crack. Yeah. Yeah. Snap. <laughs> I guess any like automatopoeia is gonna <laughs> yeah. be one. Yeah. Oh. Mud. mud. You already said mud. Yeah. Rug. I feel. Inf- wait, wait, wait! I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. I, got one. I feel like wait, I got one. Fist. All right. Wait, I got one. Mud. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what happened. Like twenty minutes. Thumb. In, Did I say thumb? 20 minutes in, I started feeling like, I feel like so high right now, and I haven't done anything. Bro's big. Maybe it's the yerb. Yeah, I'm yerb. I'm board. off that yerb of my All day. Right. I'll make a omelette. latte. Um, Sorry. All right, should we, do, should we do some sitcom plots that don't exist? Yes, these are sitcom plots that don't exist. And we want to shout out John Fidget, because this was his idea. John Fidget. Shout out John Fidget. <laughs> okay. The day that Mrs. Thomas sells the dresser on Craigslist, Timmy is playing with super glue and accidentally glues his hand to the inside of the dresser. (laughs) The dresser is taken to the new family's house with Timmy inside. Once he finally gets unstuck, he must make his way out of the house unnoticed. I love that. Uh, When Ryan finds out his ex-girlfriend is going on a date with a new guy, he has to dress up like a waiter so that he can sabotage their date. I love that. Thank you. I love that. Uh, Timmy farts in class and blames it on the stinky kid next to him. Everyone believes him, and the stinky kid gets detention. Timmy begins to feel guilty and must find a way to bust the stinky kid out of detention. Nice. Um, brothers Eric and Brody set their teacher up on a date with their dad Mm -hmm. so that they can get on her good side, but when their dad doesn't want to go, they have to sit on each other's shoulders under a big coat and pretend that they're their dad to go on the date. That's good. I like that. Timmy accidentally breaks his... they all the same character? Yeah, it's all the same sitcom I made up. (laughs) Timmy time. (laughs) Timmy time. (laughs) Timmy accidentally breaks his little brother's Buzz Lightyear toy while playing with it. It was one of the ones that could talk and would say, to infinity and beyond. Timmy must now hide in his brother's room and say to infinity and beyond every time his brother presses the button <laughs> until he can get a new one. I like that. Yeah. Melinda's parents are out of town and she loses their family dog. And so she has to paint a cat to look like their <laughs> dog. <laughs> get home. That's good. 
Timmy goes to buy candy at the local convenience store and is mistaken by the store owner as the guy who was coming in for an interview. Timmy <laughs> gets the job and is put to work running the cash register. He gives all his friends free candy and all is good until his parents come in and ask for $20 on pump number five. Though concealing his face, he has no idea what the hell that means. <laughs> so he gets caught. Nice. Yeah. When Gary's friends want to go to the amusement park to ride the new roller coaster that he's afraid to go on, he has to break the roller coaster uh, so that they can't go on it. Mm. There you go. Uh, Timmy is arrested in connection with a series of arsons across the county. He is found guilty by a jury of his peers, yeah. is what the Constitution says, which means it's all kids his age. <laughs> and he is sentenced to 30 years in prison. Good he dies in prison 10 years after um, due to it. He got in a gang and he got like shivved and um, <laughs> died. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tanya and her friends start selling their homework to pay for their shopping habit. Uh, but when their operation gets, who would want to buy homework? Oh, the answers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. More homework. Selling. <laughs> um, uh, but they have to deal with the problem, or when their operation gets too big, they have to deal with the problem of either making their customers mad. Or getting caught by the school. Ooh. All right. Those were sitcom episodes that don't exist. All right. Those are killer episodes. Oh, yes. I, I, can I tell those you something? Those are great. One I like those. Yeah. One of those reminded me of something. I did that Empty Nighters thing where I had to watch Mighty Ducks 2. Yep. And then like break it down with like our hockey podcast. Shout out Empty Nighters. Uh, but there was a quote in that movie that I wrote down that was the funniest. It's a, mind you, a very a kid's movie. And, and I can't say... Del- for sure that this was deliberate, but there's a line in that where the lead character in this movie says, and I quote, I wanted to cream that jerk that busted my knee in the minors. It said cream jerk busted in minors in the same <laughs> sentence. Yeah, it was completely unintentional. It was, all, it was about hockey, and it's a kid's movie, but that is insane. Yeah. That's the only movie other than the R. Kelly one that has all those four in the same <laughs> sentence. I wanted to cream that. I wanted to wanted cream to... that jerk that busted my knee in the minors. That's funny. It's uh, crazy. Um, all right, whose personality is Dylan Lauren? Oh, Ooh. <laughs> sorry, I hit the mic with my whose phone. Whose personality yeah. am I gonna yeah. steal? Mm. We, I feel like we last because we're recording this again before Labor Day. We already did like Labor Day themed ones. Yeah. So now we gotta. I don't know. My don't dad know. is coming this weekend. Like. Next weekend. Uh, Labor Day weekend or the following? The following. Like, okay, the weekend that weekend. when you're listening to this, will be coming up. All right, so let's let's talk about who, whose personality Maybe, is like, doing that weekend. Maybe, like, really awesome, the best daughter ever. Yeah. Malia Obama. That'd be good. Malia Obama. It's, no, she didn't she smoke a cigarette one time? <laughs> I always saw, I saw a picture one time of a kid that went to Princeton with her, and he took a picture of her credit card uh, <laughs> that people were using her Amex to line up drugs. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. Apparently she's into the Colombian coffee. Um, that's... Is it, I don't know. They just also that. make coffee. Yeah. <laughs> that's like an actual type of coffee. She's into really a good... She's into like a really nice rose. <laughs> um, I got one. Or do you got I'm one? going to Tempe, Arizona that weekend. The weekend Why? of the... Why is everyone going to Arizona? What's it's in for Arizona? The, for work. It's the college tour. We're doing an event oh. at Arizona State. I'm not going to. You're that. going to Boston that week. Oh right, and uh, God, that sounds awful. I mean, so, at least it's close. Yeah, it's yeah. like a 40 minute flight. It'll be easy. Yeah, yeah. Um, or a five hour drive if you're a freak. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna steal my Uncle Mike's personality because Is he a Sun Devil. No, but he's uh, spends a lot of time with my aunt Tina. Mm. He's gonna be out of town, but I'm gonna spend time with my aunt Tina. Right. So I'm kind of. Stealing his personality in the sense of hanging out. With You're gonna be Uncle Mike. Yeah, that's fun. yeah, very fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna steal the Sleepy Time Bears personality and just cozy up next to the fire in Boston. No, next weekend, the following weekend. That's the weekend we're talking about. Shit, um, the Boston weekend. That sucks. Then I'm gonna. Be I can't Boston? be the Sleepy Time Beer. He's gonna be in Worcester, actually. Yeah, it's like it's gonna be. <laughs> It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun, but tra- I'm just tired of travel right now. Um, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna Will you be back it. 9-11? Yeah. For your your birthday? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, if my plan goes to... Whatever. Um, that was dumb. 
I'm going to steal a Vici's personality because I'm going to break away and I'm going to get really into EDM. Hell yeah. Um, I feel delirious right now. I'm sorry. if uh, It hasn't come through. Okay, awesome. You seem normal. That's great. Um, cool. And we have a special episode that... Oh, yeah. When well, that would be coming out tomorrow. But that would have already... By the time Hopefully. you're listening to this, you will have already seen our interview with... Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. No. no it's well, coming out tomorrow. It's going to come out on Thursday. Thursday. Oh, okay. So tomorrow, there, we have a special little... Uh, like hour long chat. It was very chill, very nice guy and uh, or girl. Or girl. And it was yeah. awesome. It was Get a cool thing. Though. It was the coolest thing. Music industry. It was the coolest hint. thing that I've gotten to do through this job. I was really, really grateful to have the opportunity. Yeah. To pick this. And I had lots brain. of fun as well. Yeah. All right. What um, are the people commenting? The people are commenting. Uh, the people are commenting. Um. Their favorite bird. That's a good one. Comment what you think about the episode. <laughs> okay. It's like saying yeah, like yeah. what normal comments yeah. would be. Uh, I got yeah. and your favorite bird. I got I got I got one. I got one. Comment what you think about the episode and uh, if you could change a plot point in your favorite movie to be something else, what would you change mm. it to be? I like that. Thank you. All right. All right. We love you guys. Have a great rest of your week Drive and a safe. great weekend. Drive safe and uh, get home. Safe and tell the people that you love that you love them. Amen we'll to see that. See you guys on Wednesday. Peace. Or no, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.